The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish, published by Simon and & Schuster. And this is a thriller that is set along the waterway of the Thames uh, about a group of commuters who uh, become friends over a year, over 2019, and they travel in from East London and they go to Waterloo to their work and then they come back again. And just look at the lovely cover, it's got a nice reflective cover on it, it's great. The story focuses very much on Jamie and Claire and it's pretty much Jamie's story. They are in their 40s and they get to know another couple called Kit and Melia. Now Melia is a gorgeous looking young woman, quite stylish, an actress, and um, she, her name is shortened to me, which might give you a bit of a clue that she's a bit of a me, 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 uh, perhaps has some narcissistic tendencies. So they all rub along with one another, they have dinner parties, they enjoy each other's companies, they do stuff together. But the dynamics start to change. The scene is set for unfolding events and the events eventually end up in the death of one of the party. You know there's a lot of alcohol involved, there are drugs involved um, and there are very distinct personalities um, who drive the story along. I really enjoyed this book and I couldn't wait to pick it up to see what was going to happen next. Um, the author is extremely good at laying out a storyline so that it makes a sense of what's going on and it just flows very nicely. Um, I'm reading, or I was reading this during the time of the coronavirus pandemic and I really enjoyed being transported via a good story into London, into the boat, um, into the areas in East London. Um, you know, it was a great distraction and sometimes it was quite hard to come away from that and come back into real life and to watch the news as it is today. In this thriller there's a little bit of black humour. The author is really good at observing people and she gets the couple relationships just really nicely set up so they can interplay and uh, change and kind of bounce off each other. So I think if you're looking for something that's got um, a human interest to it um, and that makes for a good story, then The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish is certainly one to pick up and I'd recommend it.